The Zona Coordinator, North Central of the National Health Insurance Authority, Alaji Adamu Abdullahi, said the recent repositioning in the organization have yielded positive results. He noted that the management of NHIA is ensuring that all Nigerians are captured in the scheme. The Zona Coordinator stated this at a media interaction program organized by NHIA in Ilori, saying, the National Health Insurance Authority is being repositioned to adequately respond to the challenges of attaining universal health coverage in Nigeria by the year 2030. Alaji Abdullah said the universal health coverage by 2030 in Nigeria is achievable given the acceleration of programs, implementation of NHIA Act and effective collaboration with stakeholders. He solicited for collaboration with media and other relevant stakeholders, urging them to create more awareness and also purchase health insurance for journalists as a group. The Zona coordinator used the medium to announce that NHIA has been undertaking reforms to reposition the authority to adequately respond to the challenges of attaining universal health coverage in Nigeria by the year 2030. The National Health Insurance Authority has been undertaking reforms, like I said, and some of the reforms included one, the current uh, DG, when he came on board, he started by three rebranding ideas. One, his main focus is we must ensure transparency and accountability. And we cannot get this transparency and accountability unless we are committed to the goals for which the agency or the authority is established to attain. And then the second aspect of his concern was to come up with a new value orientation to attending to issues that has to do with healthcare delivery in this country. Ever before this period, there was this non-challenge attitude, a sort of apprehension on the part of Nigerians that this program will not work. Okay. The new DG now came and said, no, it must work. And the only way through which we can do it permanently is to bring in or coming in with a new approach, a new value orientation. We have our norms. We have to refine our norms and values so that at least those will clear the, the doubting promises that said the program will not succeed. Then the final is the acceleration. We want to see how can we try towards universal health coverage. If there is no commitment, if there is no dedication, we cannot attain it. And to do that, you need to put structures in place, institutions. And one of those structures is what we are doing today here. He mentioned that the reforms include three point rebranding agenda, which focuses on value system reorientation promoting transparency and accountability and accelerating the drive towards achieving universal health coverage through consolidation of existing programs and innovation. In the recent times, the efforts to achieve universal health coverage by the authority has focused in some areas which are highlighted below. We have also set up a 10-year strategic plan. Before this time, the management of NHIS had issues. And what were the issues? We did not have a focus uh, direction towards ensuring that we allow for continuity. When we are talking of 10 years strategic plan, we have already worked out what we intend to achieve in the next 10 years. And these are not programs or policies that are static. They are not static, they are rigid. They can still be amended to meet up the day to day. Runnings as we advance in our day-to-day uh, -day life or activities. So the 10-year strategic plan is to allow us to we have a short-term and long-term plan so that at least to guide our modus operandi, our mode of operation in ensuring that Nigerians have access to healthcare services. Implementation of basic healthcare for the front, I've spoken about that. We have uh, children under five, pregnant women, those that are supposed to benefit. Elderly people, the indigents are also part of that. We are different. We are going to talk about different gateways as it affects the implementation of basic healthcare provision. Also speaking, 
Dr. Saka Ismail, one of the management of NHRA, noted that there are more innovations in the authority which include to cooperate with pharmaceutical industry to help those with illness not captured in the scheme. Under health insurance, we are providing coverage for you. There are certain things, benefits you want you to have. Such as you go to the hospital, you'll be given drugs. These drugs, you know, actually, it has been priced to say if you sell at this rate, you're not going to run at loss. All right? That is what our target means. And um, we have said on, you know, every three, three years, we will be reviewing this target. Of course, I understand the inflation, the economic reality currently has caught up with a lot of things, and uh, we also need to adjust things. Just like he has said again. We are working seriously to ensure a review is done on this. Because we also understand that the price uh, our providers are buying things keep changing, even on a daily basis now. So uh, we must recognize that fact if we don't want to fall them out of business. In his remarks, the Quaster chairman of NUJ, Larry Ablatif, commended NHI management for the recent repositioning and achievement recorded. Gets into authority now, and with some of the amendment made in the provisions uh, that establish the authority, I know uh, they will give uh, Nigerians the opportunity to enjoy the insurance. Because before now, if you look at what is applicable abroad, all these things are embedded in the social safety net. But you'll be wondering why uh, Nigeria is different. Um, but the steps taken, I commend the management of the authority. NUJ, Quora State Council, will be willing to partner with you. Of course, we have taken a similar step. We have uh, enrolled some of our members in the health insurance, though with the state uh, health insurance agency. But with this idea of uh, every citizen benefiting from health insurance now from through the agency, I want to assure you that NUJ under our leadership will be willing to partner with you in the enrolling of members of that number. Mr. Ahmed Ablatif assured the NHIA of the commitment and support of the media in Kwara State, adding that the development in NHIA will attract more errorlies and improvement in the service delivery.